Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'm comparing AMD's new R9390X with their older R9290X. An interesting comparison for those of you that want to know how much of an improvement there is. As you'd expect, the R9290X currently costs a lot less than the new 390X. Well, because it's officially an old model now. The price difference is significant, but we all know the 390X is actually a tweaked 290X, basically a rebrand. So what makes up this big price difference? Let's go ahead and find it out. So for sure the R9390X has improved a lot over the 290X. At first I didn't really expect to see such results, but I was positively surprised in this case. The 290X doesn't look all that powerful anymore in these charts, but in its defense it's a lot cheaper as well. AMD managed to improve the noise levels a little bit and most importantly the temperatures, even though it's pretty much the same GPU. Power consumption is where this 390X disappoints me. It even increased over the one of the older 290X. Which of course is logical since we get to see overclocking on that 390X to achieve these good results. Another factor you have to be aware of however is the VRAM. While the 4GB on the 290X are fine, even for 4K gaming, the 390X now offers a total of 8GB. So twice as much which can come in handy especially in the future. However if you live for the now, you can take advantage of the 8GB in rendering works video editing and so on, it'll do well there. It's a bit hard to judge the price performance ratio here, especially since most of you will have different opinions. But for now I'm going to say the 390X has a good price performance ratio. But for a little more, Nvidia has a more efficient offering, but then again, no 8GB of VRAM. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short comparison video and found it helpful. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.